So today I'm talking about a P04F0 code, what it is and how you could go about fixing it. And so what is a P04F0 code? Well, it's an EVAP system high load purge line A performance. And some OBD2 definitions are listed as EVAP system high pressure purge line performance. And so what does this all mean? Well, vehicles have what's called an EVAP system that basically takes all the gas vapors from the gas tank and feeds them up to the engine to be burnt off. This way they don't escape into the atmosphere. This is for emissions. But when you get this P04F0 code, the computer is seeing some kind of problem inside of the system. And so it's got to be troubleshooted to know why. And depending on the vehicle, the year, the make, the model, different things like this, there can be different things going on inside of an EVAP system. Components can be located differently. They can be named differently. Things along these lines. So if you do go to work on your vehicle, it's always a good idea to get a diagram for your specific vehicle. That way you know for sure what's going on. But the basics of how these EVAP systems work is that you're going to have gas vapors that are going to leave the gas tank. They're going to go over to what's called a charcoal canister, which is kind of like storage for the gas vapors. Located in the charcoal canister or located right next to it is going to be what's called a vent valve. And the vent valve does different things. The computer can close it and test the system and different things like this. The gas vapor is going to leave the charcoal canister and then they're going to go up to the engine compartment to what's called the purge valve. And the purge valve basically just stays closed when the engine's not running so the gas vapors don't escape. But then when the engine is running, at some point the computer is going to send it a signal to open and then the gas vapors are going to go into the engine to be burnt away. So that's a real basic overview of what's going on inside of an EVAP system. Like I said, if you do go to work on a vehicle, be sure to get a diagram for your specific vehicle. That way you know exactly what's going on. And so what are some possible causes of a P04F0 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is a bad gas cap. The gas cap is a part of the EVAP system and it needs to seal correctly or else that can cause issues. That can cause a leak and throw off the pressures and different things like this. This is going to include vehicles with the new capless fuel systems that don't have a gas cap where they got that inlet inside of there. This inlet also needs to seal up or that can cause problems. If you do have a regular gas cap, one thing you can do is you could go examine it, check that seal inside of there, be sure it looks like it's sealing up correctly. If it does look like it has some kind of issue, you can't take like a plastic bag and double it up or triple it up a bunch of times, put a hole inside of it and make like a temporary gasket. Go and clear that code and see if the code comes back. It will vary when the computer goes to retest that system. So if you do clear that code, it might take like two, three, four, five days before the computer retests the system. But if the code doesn't come back in like three, four, five days, they're very likely you got a bad gas cap and the gas cap just needs to be replaced. I made full videos on all of this and how you can go about testing all the components and different things like this inside of an EVAP system. I'll put a link down below in the description if you need to check that out. But basically the first thing that could cause this is a bad gas cap. The next thing that could cause this is a bad EVAP component. And this can be like a bad purge valve, some kind of issue going on with the charcoal canister or a bad vent valve or something like that. But usually when that happens, you're going to get another code. So for example, if you also got like a P0449 code, evaporative emission system vent valve solenoid circuit, and in that case, it would be a good idea to go check out that vent valve and there'll be some kind of issue going on there. And so it is possible that there's a bad EVAP component. One of them is having some kind of problem. And so you can't go through and test these components and check to see if they're working and check to see if there's any kind of issue going on with them. Again, I made a full video on this on how you go about testing all these components. And the link is going to be in the description. But the next thing that could cause this is a bad EVAP component. The next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of leak going on inside the system. There's like a bad hose. Or maybe one of the components is leaking, like the charcoal canister got damaged or something like that. And so they're leaking and they're throwing off the pressure inside the EVAP system. So you can go around and try to see if you see anything damaged, like you see a broken hose or something damaged or something along these lines. But this can be hard to do. There's a lot of hoses going on and different components and things like this. So if you took it to a mechanic, what they would do is they use a smoke machine and they feed smoke into the EVAP system. And then wherever the smoke comes out, then they know where the leak's at. They know the component they need to go and fix. If you have an air compressor, these are fairly low cost tools. They range right around $50 to $100. I'll put a link down below in the description if you want to check one out. You can also make these up yourself. There's a lot of YouTube videos on how you go about making up a smoke machine for like 4 or $5. But the next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of leak inside the EVAP system. And the next thing that could cause this is a bad fuel tank pressure sensor, sometimes called like an EVAP pressure sensor or something like that. And basically the computer is getting all its information from this pressure sensor. And so if there's some kind of issue going on with that pressure sensor, if it's sending out the wrong information, then there might not be no problem inside the system, but the computer thinks there is since that pressure sensor is just reporting bad information back to it. 
Again, usually if there is some kind of issue with that pressure sensor, you're going to get another code. So for example, if you also got like a P0452 code, evaporative emission system pressure sensor switch low, then it's going to be a good idea to go check out that pressure sensor and do some tests, check to see if it has gone bad. These fuel tank pressure sensors can be located on the fuel pump. They can also be located right on top of the gas tank. Sometimes they're located with the charcoal canister, so it could really vary on exactly where they're located. But the next thing that could cause this is a bad pressure sensor. And the last thing on the list is going to be that there's some kind of wiring issue going on, going to one of the components. And basically just keep in mind that if there's any kind of wiring issue, like an open, there's a short, there's a blown fuse, something along those lines, then that's going to cause the same symptoms as a bad component. So be sure to keep that in mind because the last thing on the list is going to be there's some kind of wiring problem. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P04F0 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.